Alright, so much needed hope for patients who suffer from life-threatening food allergies. Fox 5's Melissa Edizadi introduces us to a groundbreaking therapy in this month's Big Idea. From the outside, it's unnoticeable, but for those who suffer day in and day out, it can be debilitating. I'm still at 8 and 10 years old in charge of every single food that goes in their mouth. A concern Susie Fromer is all too familiar with. Her two boys, Danny and Peter, are part of a rapidly growing group of kids that suffer from life-threatening food allergies. Every day that we wait is a day that we had to get through, keep our kids safe, maybe they were included, and try to have a quality of life for ourselves as well. However, all that might be changing thanks to a new practice called oral immunotherapy, or OIT. The approach involves giving patients small doses of their food allergen. The goal, trick the body into not recognizing the substance in an allergic way. It is a process whereby we are helping patients outgrow or learn to tolerate the particular food they're allergic to. One of around 70 doctors in the United States who practice OIT, Dr. Joel Selter treats patients who suffer from peanut, egg, soy, tree nut, wheat, and milk allergies. How can we make it safe for these patients to go out to eat, go to a restaurant, go to a party? Things that for the most part they've been shunning. The procedure is relatively straightforward. Patients are required to make one hour weekly visits where they are given minuscule doses of the allergen. Up to four today. Finally. <laughs> and then diligently monitored. Make sure you drink it all, okay? Okay. At 10 years old, Danny suffers from multiple food allergies. He's been working with Dr. Selter okay. to treat his peanut allergy. Once in fear of going into anaphylaxis shock from even just trace amounts of the allergen. A big deep breath. Danny is working his way up the peanut chain. The treatment plan taking between four to 12 months. Doing great. No belly pains, the throat doesn't itch or anything like that? No. Fantastic. Mommy's doing great? Yeah, he is. But the maintenance is not just in the doctor's office. And here's his peanut, right. okay? Once done with the weekly visit, patients are sent home with a week's worth of what the practice calls doses. Each patient required to take one or two doses of their allergen every 24 hours, each time monitoring their response. We really need significant commitment on the part of parents to be able to go through the process. If all goes well, at their next visit, the doses go up. Sandy, you hear that? Like two weeks to one peanut. Small steps so, towards big uh, victories. So it's amazing to think that you have to look at all I, this. Stuff. One, you have to look, but two, I also know it cold. I can go and buy something that says may contain peanut, and I'm not, I'm not as worried. But not everybody is on board with the procedure. Some critics have argued the treatment is too risky to try. FDA studies on the practice won't be done until 2018. But for Dr. Selter, who has nearly a 100% success rate with his patients, he argues it's something we've actually been doing for quite some time. What have we been doing all these years for somebody who has a bee sting allergy, someone who's almost died from a bee sting, and yet we're, we're able to safely cautiously, but safely administer allergy injections to him uh, to desensitize that person to against bee stings. So we're able to manage risk, which is really the major concern over here. As for Susie and her boys, I was too scared not to do it. I'm not scared of the symptoms of doing OIT. I'm scared of having a reaction from all the foods that we encounter on a daily basis. Danny telling us this round of OIT is just the beginning. He hopes to tackle his wheat allergy next. I'd be looking forward to like baked goods or something like, to actually know if it's better than my mom's baking or not. The fear of a life or death moment possibly just a bite away may soon be long gone. I want to be able to sleep at night. I don't want to worry. And I want them to be able to eat and enjoy, not just have to continue to monitor. It is giving us hope for the first time, for the first time in 10 years. Melissa Adizadi, Fox 5 News. And although many oral immunotherapy physicians tend to treat patients ages four years and up, Dr. Selter says adult patients are equally suitable candidates as well. Some insurance companies are recognizing OIT as a covered treatment. For more information on OIT, visit our website, fox5ny.com.